Good evening, boys and girls. I'm so glad you joined us for the postcards. Today, we're gonna to be talking about families. We talked about families last week. We're gonna be talking about families this week. And it's one of my, these are my favorite stories. But we gotta get the wiggles out so we can open our Bible and hear about this baby. Okay, ready? Stretch wide. Come on, stretch. Wiggle your fingers. Put your hands by your side. Wiggle your fingers. Reach up high. Now touch your nose. Oh, did I get ya? That's not your nose, that's your ears. Okay, touch your nose. Pat your head. Wiggle your ears. Clap three times. Now we're ready. First of all, we're gonna work on our Bible verse. Our Bible verse today is in 1 Timothy 5, 4, and that's in the New Testament. And we're gonna clap this out, and it says, take care of your family. Ready? Let's do that again. Take care of your family. 1 Timoth Timothy 5, 4. I think you have it. Now, our story is in the Old Testament. That's in the first part. And it's in the book of Exodus. And there was a Hebrew family that lived in Egypt. Now in Egypt, the Pharaoh or the king, he did not like Hebrew babies. But this Hebrew family had a new baby and they loved him so much. So the mother wanted to protect the baby. So she weaved a basket that was waterproof. It was the size, it was like a little baby bed basket, the size that a baby could lay in. And she finished it and she put the baby in the basket walked down to the river, and there was tall grass, maybe higher than me. And she made a path and put that basket just on the shores of the river. Then on the right down from the baby in the basket, she put her daughter, the baby's sister, and she said, you stay here and watch the baby. So the sister was working hard watching the baby and the Pharaoh's daughter, the king's daughter, came down to the river. She saw the basket, the Bible tells us. She opened the basket and saw the baby. The sister ran to the king's daughter and said, do you need someone to nurse or to care for your baby that you have just found? I can go get someone. And the king's daughter said, yes, go find a woman to take care of this baby. So she ran to her mother, explained to her what had happened, and the mother came back. And the king's daughter said, can you take care of my baby till he's a little bit older? And then you bring the baby to me? The mother said, yes, I can do that. Because she knew she could take very good care of the baby. The king's daughter named this baby Moses. Now, I love this because it talks about family. So I want us to thank God for our family. And while we pray, I want you to thank God for your family. So reach out wide, bring your hands together, and shut your eyes. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful Bible story. Thank you for my family. We love you, God. Amen. Now, boys and girls, now I know boys might not have a baby doll, but the girls might. So you might ask your mama if you could bathe the baby. Because this Sunday in my room, we're going to weave a basket 
and we're going to bathe babies. So, maybe your mama will even let you play sink or float, float in a pan of water. I'll see you next week.